here's how to set up your blog in your Blogger account. There are a number of ways to get to that when you've logged into your Google account. One of the ways to do so is to come over to your Gmail and come to the waffle and look for that Blogger icon that happens to live right there. And that'll launch me into the dashboard for my Blogger. Another way, if you forget to do that, is to just open a new tab and start typing blogger.google.com and you can get there. You'll see here that I have a number of blogs that I've already created or work on with some other folks too. There are a number of those. But if I want to create a new blog, because I can have as many as I'd like, I'm going to go ahead here and click New Blog. So that's what you should do. Think about a title to add to it, and then you're going to give it an address, a web address to come to. So let's just imagine I'm doing this as Susan's Reflections. That'll be the name of my blog for today. And then I'm going to start typing in a potential web address title. And you'll notice that it's filling in for me. So Susan Reflection. Let's see what happens with that. Um, if, I'm, if I decide I like that, what I'm going to do is click on it, and it's going to go and see if somebody else already has this blog or not. If the address is not available, you'll see a red X, but if it is, you can go ahead and take that. That means when you want to send anybody a link to your blog, that's what this link will be. Next, you can pick a template. At this point, you can go through each one to see what you like, or at any point later in the setup of the blog, you can choose a different template. So I would go ahead and click Create Blog Now, and we'll go forward with that. I'm not going to do that because I'm not interested in creating this one for today, but I just wanted to walk you through the process. You'll be getting probably um, instructions about how you're going to name your blog and potentially what um, address you'll be giving it as well. Once your blog is set up, I'm going to go ahead and show you an example of one here that I have. Uh, you can click on the title so that you can get to start adding your first post. In order to see what the blog looks like, you can click on View Blog, but you basically start by creating a post. There are two different ways to do posts. You can either click on this pencil, or you can click on this orange button too that says New Post, and that's going to be how you contribute to your blog. You'll see you give it a title, and then you have this workspace along with a uh, uh, an editor bar here. Let's go ahead and um, do an example of one. So I'm going to do Susan as a learner. I'm going to post about if I were to think about myself and the way that I learn, and then think about an animal that might represent that. The task might be to get a picture of that animal and then to write a little bit about that. So I'm going to go ahead and write from an octopus when it comes to learning typing. I have all of these opportunities up here to be able to do something with the text, but I want to be able to put in a picture. So this icon right here allows me to insert a picture, or I can also insert a movie, but I'm going to put my cursor where I want it to be, a little bit down here, and I'm going to go find a picture of an octopus. I could go and look in different places here on the web, but if I've got something saved on my computer, I could choose File, and I'm going up to my desktop where I have my picture, I click Open, and then here comes the picture of the octopus that I want to add to that post. I click Add Selected, and then it's going to land right in here. When I click on that, I have an opportunity to do different things in terms of the size, or I can move it to a certain part on the page. And then when I'm happy with that, I can go ahead and hit Save. Did you notice that it saved automatically like that too? It's going to save as a draft. That will stay behind the scenes in my dashboard, and it doesn't have to go live until I hit Publish. One last thing I'd like to show you before we go to see the view for Blog Live is this little piece here called Labels. One of the ways I can organize all of the different posts that I'm going to add to this blog is by giving it labels or tags, if you will. Basically creating an index here so I can search later for all of my blogs based on whatever topic of interest I give it as a label. So I'm going to come back and do that in a minute. I'm going to hit Publish first, and you'll notice there is one the blog post, and there are others here that I've got going, some of which I've published and others that are in draft form. I could go ahead and click on this here to go back and edit it. I could view it live on the blog. If I've picked a theme that has this sort of fancy design behind the scenes, but you'll notice there's my text with my title and my image. 
And when I do go ahead and add labels to it, the labels are going to stack up right underneath here. Labels become important again if I have a whole bunch of posts that I want to be able to organize and sort. 